Where my 75 lovers at, man? This for y'all. Me, I'm a 71 lover, but I appreciate You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind The Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, yeah? What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's good, fam? What's going on? You hear me? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. You hear me? So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not go out and work on yourself? You hear me? So always room for improvement, fam. But what's good though, man? Shout out to everybody that's tuned in right now, man. Hope everybody out there having a productive day, man. Today, I know y'all see it behind me. We had to come check out this beautiful red and white 75 sitting on 26 inch wheels. Real nice car. We had to check it out, you understand me? But before we get into that, fam, once again, shout out everybody that's tuned in right now. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. You hear me? You feel me? Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss the content that we post because the content we post be fire. You understand me? Real talk, that content be fire, and you don't want to miss it. You understand me? Especially when we doing a don't giveaway. That's right. Don't Giveaway. We giving away a donk. We giving away a 1973 two-door hardtop, very solid starter donk. You understand me? It's a starter donk, meaning that whoever wins it has to build it to their liking. You feel me? You get it done the way you want to get it done. We giving it away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. You understand me? 200,000 subscribers, and then we giving it away. How do you enter the donk giveaway? Basically, you gotta subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel. Click that notification bell, turn on the post notifications because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan the YouTube channel. You understand me? So basically, that's the requirements. Also, you got to spread the word and tell everybody you know that like Don'ts about the Don't Plan it Don't Giveaway to help our subscriber count grow and help us get the 200,000 subscribers. Therefore, we can give the Don't away. You understand me? Real talk. Real yeah, fam. I'm over here trying to find some shade, man. Um, as you can see, man, that Miami, Florida weather be crazy. Around this time of year, it was just freezing a couple days ago. And now it's hot, had to find some shade, man. I was just, I was just sweating like crazy. Now I'm up under some trees, trying to, you feel me, find that shade, man. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. I'd rather it be hot and be able to turn on the AC than it be cold and trying to keep warm. You understand me? Real talk. But uh, yeah, also if you're looking to purchase that merch, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to don'tplanet.com where you'll be able to check out the merch we have available. We got shirts, hats, hoodies, beanies, hoodies, all that, you understand me? Check that out. But anyway, man, let's get into it. Let's check out this beautiful 75, you understand me? All right, fam, all right, fam. Here you go, right here. You see it? Beautiful red 75. Guess who owns it? It's owned by Ty Diesel. That's right. Ty Diesel, you hear me? Got another one. Ty Diesel was the one that did the raffle of the red, the red and white 75 not too long ago. Um, and that box Chevy. And then we did a video with him where he had that uh 71 vert called Broccoli. Now he got the red 75. I mean, I don't know the official name, but I'm just gonna call it candy cane again, because every time I see red and white. I think of a candy can, you hear me? But here you go right here. Y'all see what's going on. Red and white owned by Ty Diesel. And it is for sale. It is for sale. Red and white, 1975 Chevy Caprice convertible, you hear me? Where my 75 lovers at, man? This for y'all. Me, I'm a 71 lover, but I appreciate all years. Feel me? I know I got 75 lovers out there. Where y'all at, man? This one for y'all. That red and white combination, that famous 
1975 Chevy Caprice, red and white combination. Sitting on 26 inch wheels. See, you got the red accents on the wheel. Real nice, real nice. Real nice, real nice, real nice. Y'all drop no comments. All the 75 level. Y'all drop me comments. This one for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, we got Ty over here, man. We're gonna get Ty to talk again. What's good, man? Man. What's going on? Back at it again. And you know, let the people know, man. Let them know, man. 1975 Caprice convertible. Yeah. On 26. Monty Ford. Mm hmm. AC car. Yeah. White interior. White top. AC work. Beautiful dash, power locks, power yeah. windows. Yeah. Ready to go, man. It's Super Bowl ready, man. Super Bowl ready? Super Bowl ready, man. <laughs> See you from a mile away, you know what I'm saying? They got Bowl. music on the inside, but they ain't got that bang bang like how, you know, how we like it down south. But it's definitely Super Bowl ready, man. Yeah. 1975 Caprice Classic Convertible, man. You See, it's beautiful, man. What? They ain't got skirts. Skirts on there. Yeah, everything, man. Car's ready, man. You know? One day away from Super Bowl, man. Come catch me out, man. You know what I'm saying? You already know. So I'm kind of giving you the business today. What, the, what, what, what happened to Broccoli? I was just telling people you was the same person that we did the video with Broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broccoli's still, broccoli still here, man. Okay. Broccoli's still here. Okay. Um, you know, my, they might see it at Super Bowl, man. Okay. They might, they might go there, they might go down, they might go uh, up there tonight. Okay. Y'all see me riding through. Say what's up, because Broccoli about to give uh, Tampa the business, man. <laughs> <laughs> That name, hey, that name stuck, boy. That boy don't play the name of the car, and it was, it was, it was a rap from then on. <laughs> Everybody got the name of Rock. Rock. Uh, no. so you already know, man. That's it's gonna up. go to Tampa, man. But you know, I got this beautiful '75 right here, man. Yeah. And uh, AC. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, man, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the beat, man. Today, man. No, um. It's crazy that it's another red and white one, just like the one you raffled off. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah, same, same color scheme. Yeah. Not the same car, but same color scheme. So, you know, homeboy in Chicago got a red one. I don't know what type of piece you're gonna put on his, but uh, yeah, same color scheme. You know, they made a lot of red 75s out there. As far as the um the red one that you gave away, man, what's the update on that? What homie doing with it up there? You got homie said after the snow he gonna put it in the game. He said it's okay. not snowing up there probably like in April. Okay. And he gonna definitely put it in the game. He said right now they got too much of that salt on the floor and he don't wanna tear the car. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That was up. So this one right here is for sale. So if they wanna get in contact with you or wanna wanna buy it or interested with it, how they get in contact with you? Man, they hit me on IG or call me up, man. You know, 754-777-3130. They hit me up, man, and I'll work something out with them, man. Okay. Definitely for sale and a lot of more toys, too. A lot more, you know what I'm saying? If the red ain't they color, I got colors. You got colors? Yeah, I got yeah. colors. <laughs> like the Skittles pack, man. Yeah, you got those colors. Y'all see it, fam, you got colors. Red and white 75. 26 inch wheel, Super Bowl ready. It could be the Super Bowl tonight if you come get it. I mean, it could be a Tampa tonight. Be ready to ride for the Super Bowl tomorrow. I mean, you got everything on there. You got feet. They got music on the inside, he said. You understand me?
Let's check out the inside. That red and white combination, man. That, that famous Chevy red and white. Clean inside. Y'all hear that original sound when you open the door? You don't hear that anymore these days with these dunks. Sound. Red and white interior, black dash, black carpet, clean, ready to go. Yes, sir. Let's see how that door closed. Ooh, that door closed nice, yeah. That door closed nice. I know y'all always see me talking about, ooh, that door closed nice. That's because like a lot of donks, you gotta slam the donk. You gotta slam the door repeatedly sometimes to get it to close. But the door still closed good on this car here. Candy King. All right, fam, that was the video there on um, Candy Cane. But like I said, there's more, you hear me? But wait, there's more, you hear me? Like the man from the, from the commercial say, but wait, there's more, you hear me? Let's walk over here, walk with me. Walk with me, walk with me. Talk with me. Walk with me, fam. Talk with me. We got over here another one for sale, but this not a don't. This uh 95 or 96 and far less us. One of them years. Whatever year they came in. Ready to go? Already rimmed up for you, sitting on four G's. It's original, this is not a conversion. It's not that conversion SS. It's original SS right here. I'm just something about being around cars, man. I just love it, you feel me? When you're just a car guy, when you genuinely a car guy at heart, you just love it, man. You just love it, the doors are locked. They don't put their fingerprint in big old handprints that messed up the window. But uh, when you genuinely a car guy, you just you could just appreciate being around these cars. You feel me? Real talk. Some people, you know, they, they're just in it for a fad or they're in it for profit. You feel me? Some people don't care about no damn cars. The NFL because of the latest thing that's popular or for profit. Right here we got a two-door box Chevy Landau. Don't know what year it is, an 80-something. Definitely 80s body style. And it's for sale. What a two-door box Chevy lovers at? It's for sale. I ain't gonna lie to y'all fam, when it comes to box Chevy, my personal opinion, my personal preference, I prefer the 90 backlights. Dang clean, two little black, you hear me? That's that squat in Creole. We say box, we say box in Creole is what? You hear me? Things smell clean in here, smell nice. Oh, and it's power and everything. 
Got a cassette player. I remember the first cassette I bought. Got a cassette player in there. I remember the first cassette I bought. The first cassette I bought ever in my life. Hold on one second. The first cassette that I purchased, right? Let me tell you all this story. The first cassette I purchased, I don't remember what year it was. The Ghetto Boys just dropped the Resurrection album. And I went to, uh, I was living in Little Haiti. I hopped on a Jitney. If y'all out of town, I don't know if they got Jitneys in out of town, but down here in Miami, Florida, we got this thing called Jitney. It was a cheaper version of catching like a bus, I guess. Like a metro bus or transit bus, whatever y'all call it in y'all uh, country, uh, city. And I hopped on the bus right over there on 51st Street and Northeast Second Ave. And it dropped me over there on 17th Street, Northeast Second Ave. And I walked to the Omni and went to Specs. Specs don't it Specs don't exist no more. I went to Specs, Specs Music, and uh, it was inside the Omni Mall. And the first cassette I bought was Ghetto Boys, and I bought it at Specs. I don't remember what year it was exactly. I think it was around the time when that Ghetto Boys album first dropped. I bought a cassette, and that's why I bought it at. Around that time. Yeah, man. Memories, man. Miss the old days. And over here, we got a two-door hardtop seven tray, just like the one that we giving away. It's for sale as well. This is a Caprice though. The one, the one we giving away is an Impala. This is a Caprice, foyer. Caprice, rubbers on the bumpers, everything. This one is real nice. Let me show y'all the interior, cause they really tried to preserve the interior in this car. And I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. This car also got a vinyl top on it. And it's still solid. Usually the cars with the vinyl tops, if they didn't keep, if they never kept them up, uh, the roofs get messed up, get rusted out, have rust bubbles, whatever you want to call it. But the roof on this car is still nice. But here's what I meant by they tried to really preserve the interior. Like they put plastic. Remember when your parents put that plastic on the furniture in the house so y'all didn't tear it up as kids? They got plastic on the seat, baby. Clean interior. Only this one, the driver's seat, the uh, the plastic actually ripped. But other than that, the seats in here are clean. You probably just need to do the driver's seat over and you'd be good to go. Cause they preserve the interior really good. Put the plastic on the seat. Yes, sir. This person here, you can tell this person cared. The original owner of this car cared about keeping up the car. All electric, all power. Very solid car. Very solid starter car. Bumper guards. Caprice here. Yeah. And over here we got the 72 Vert. We got the 72 Vert. Bumper guards on the front. Very solid starter car as well. Impala. Who out there looking for a vert? Everybody want to be in a vert game, don't y'all? Y'all see it, man. Everybody want to be in a vert game, don't y'all? We got a vert for y'all right here for sale. Very solid vert at death. You fixed it? No. Gotta be your competition hating. Cause unless you be posting, unless you post derogatory stuff, there's no reason to block you. You ain't even post today, right? Clean interior, all black. Very solid starter car, fam.
very solid starter car. Starter vert. For everybody trying to get in the vert game, man, this for y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, fam. And the door closed good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, fam. I gotta have one of every year for my collection, man. Forget that. I'm working towards that goal. I'm gonna have one of every year, eventually. You understand me? But y'all see it, man. We got a 72, 73, box Chevy, 95, 96 Impala SS. Um, for those who was asking the difference, I said, I, I explained that in another video, but that's a 72 front and that's a 73 front. Y'all see the difference? 72 front, 73 front. See with the 72s, you got the two lights in the corners right here. If you're looking for something to try to spot it easy, easily. On the 73s, you have no lights on the corners. On the 71, you got a light in the corner with a grill over it. But yeah, y'all see the difference? And the shape of the fronts on the 73 and the 72. At first, you know, at first sight, you might look at these cars and be like, man, they all look the same. But then, you know, it's distinguishing things about them that make them different. Like, look at the bumper on here. You see the grill on this car? For example, like, you see the grill. Okay, for example, like, okay, 73, these uh things came with the... uh. The bumper, uh, I forgot the name of it. Bumper brackets, bumper brakes, whatever. It push out the bumper more. It, it push, it pushes out the bumper more, and therefore they, uh, instead of having this a gap, they came up with this uh, bumper filler mechanism. But with the 72s and 71, the bumpers are pushed in, so therefore there is no bumper filler here. I mean, you got these, but think you got these in here but that's not like the plastic bumper fill over there on the 73. 72 to 71s the bumpers are pushed in 73s and up bumpers pushed out but yeah fam y'all see what's going on man there you have it fam there you have it jimmy we showed y'all that red and white 75 Call a candy cane. Then we came over here and showed you all these cars. The 72, 73, the box Chevy, Impala SS. Everything for sale. You understand me? If you're looking to get into the game, uh, everything for sale. Holla at Ty Diesel. He gave you all his information. Holla at him. You feel me? But that's what we have for y'all today, fam. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan to lie behind the scenes. You hear me?